let us not mince our words. Let us be clearly in the everyday language of the people of today. After all, we're not on the battlefield with Lord Krishna and Arjuna. We're not even Indians, are we? No, you agree. So, what everyone's problem is, I can tell you. We each have the fucking idiot bottled up inside our heads. We said we wouldn't mince our words. This is the problem. Don't believe me. Listen for yourself to him or her. If it's transgender or whatever, I don't care. Take some time, listen to it. So turn off the TV or whatever distractions, whatever it is, just listen. And you will hear for yourself very clearly. Your inner idiot telling you, talking to you. Don't trust me. Listen for yourself. Do it now. Okay. What did he tell you? Some bullshit, right? He told you some shit you already knew. It's always the case. It tries to convince you of what it is you already know. I call this idiot your inner DJ. Never shuts up. You can call him your Howard Stern. It's very appropriate. And why is he so popular? You can listen to someone else's inner DJ. It's liberating. But after a few months or years, anyone can have too much of Howard. Isn't it so? Yes, you've had too much. Finally, you said enough. I don't want to hear about your penis is small or you can't satisfy your wife. So one day you turn off Howard. You don't want to listen anymore. It's bad enough. But you can never turn off your own inner idiot. You can't even turn the volume down. Not even for one minute. Don't believe me? Give it a try. But even this is not the real problem. So what is the real problem you want to know? It is that you believe that inner idiot who speaks with your voice is the real you. This is the problem. 